Welcome to this tutorial. We'll be talking about blockchain. It is an introductory course or tutorial on blockchain. It will help you get started with everything blockchain. Uh, we'll be talking about um, what blockchain feels like. Uh, we'll be looking at how to demonstrate how blockchain works using JavaScript. And then I'll be introducing you to writing smart contracts using Solidity. So by the end of the course, you should be able to write basic smart contracts uh, using Solidity programming language. So what is blockchain? You must have heard that blockchain is like a ledger. Uh, it's a document you use to document transactions. Yeah, and um, the beautiful thing about blockchain is that every user gets that ledger. Every user has an access to the ledger. You just can't come and make changes on blockchain without the consent of everybody, which is different from what we have in the traditional uh, centralized application. So what am I talking about? Let me share my screen so that you get what I'm saying. All right, so, okay. So what, what we are saying is in the traditional, uh, right, in the traditional centralized applications that we have currently, this is how it works. The data store is up there owned by a company so you might be thinking of Facebook, Google, who owns company. They have access to the data, but the user only have access to what data that is delivered to them by the company. So the users can only access this data through this company. But that's different from blockchain. When you come to blockchain, there is no intermediary. The users have direct access to their data. And that is what makes blockchain really beautiful that is why many people are adopting it seriously people are seeing that uh, their privacy could be respected better here people are seeing that it is their data is more secured so they are willing to buy into what blockchain has to offer now a good way to talk about blockchain or understand blockchain is think about a peer-to-peer -peer saving where maybe three persons uh, decide to open an account and save money and there is a time to withdraw if you're going to withdraw before that time you pay fine if you try to do anything fraudulent you'll be removed now if they add one more person or decide to add any other people to that peer-to-peer -peer saving the signatories will not remain only those ones that were began the peer-to-peer -peer saving no as you add more people those people become signatories to the account too and this means that everybody has equal access to that account everybody's data is secured so nobody can actually make changes to anything without everybody who are signatories to that account giving consent so you agree that that is a more secure system than the former one where maybe there will be two or three signatories and that's all. Every other member of um, the peer-to-peer -peer saving would have to hope that those three people are honest. So this is the beauty of blockchain. It is um, the currently the Web3 phase uh, where the internet is. It is the Web3 phase because you can read, you can write, and you can own data. That's why we're talking about NFTs today. It's different from the Web 1. Web 1 was when your web pages could only read data. So whenever you come to a web page, all you do is just read what's on there. Uh, it's also different from Web 2 which is the social media applications we have, the forms you can fill, get interaction. In Web2 applications, you could read, you could write data, but here in Web3, you could also own data. So that makes it 
so different that makes it very beautiful highly acceptable so what i'll do next in the next video is to show you how blockchain works we won't jump into solidity immediately i'll use a language that many people already know um, that's javascript but we'll be using the object-oriented programming pattern so you need to understand the oop pattern of um writing programs so that you'll be able to follow when we have been able to explain how blockchain works then we'll move over to learning solidity solidity uh, is an object oriented uh, programming language too that's why we are using an object or oriented uh, pre programming pattern in javascript so that when as we as we move into solidity it won't be difficult for you to grasp what we are saying or what the program is all about well that's the little introduction i'll be doing next video we're diving in straight into how blockchain works we'll look at it um from two perspectives we'll be looking at it from the theoretical perspective we'll also be looking at it from the practical perspective I'll see you in the next video.